Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company accounting lesson. In this video, we will be going over break even point in sales dollars. Now, if you were looking for break even point in units, that is going to be the previous video. I will include a link to that in the description. Uh, now, before we jump right into it, keep in mind on our website, tlctutoringcompany.com. We have several resources available to you, so please make sure that you check that out. Uh, we are going to have this spreadsheet available there as well, so if you'd like to open that up in advance and kind of follow along with the lesson, please feel free to do so before we get started. Okay. So since we are doing our break-even point in sales dollars, I am going to hide uh, what we've done so far. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hide this and just to see if we can fit it all on the screen. I'm going to hide my break even point in units. That way we can kind of focus in on oh, our other piece there that we need. There we go. Sales dollars here. So when we are doing break even point in sales dollars, our formula changes slightly from when we are doing break even point in units. Back when we were doing it in units, it was fixed costs divided by unit contribution margin. Here, we're going to be flipping over to fixed costs divided by contribution margin ratio. So uh, if you don't know what the contribution margin ratio is and you want to go a little bit more in depth, again, I'll include a link to that in the description. But in the meantime, let's just go ahead and do a quick little formula off to the side. Our contribution margin ratio is going to be our sales price per unit minus our variable cost per unit divided by our sales price per unit. Let's get rid of that and put that. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that when we're doing the contribution margin ratio, notice that in this formula I did per units. Either it can be per unit or it can be totals, right? So it could also be total sales minus total variable costs divided by total sales. So we'll see what kind of scenarios we run into in this video. All right, so taking a look at D. <clears throat> D company has a contribution margin ratio of 20%. They want us to calculate the company's break-even point in sales dollars, assuming that the company has fixed costs of $100,000. So let's start just with our numerator for this formula. Our numerator is $100,000. That's our fixed costs. And our denominator is 20%. So notice in this one, we didn't have to use our formula at all. They gave us our percentage nice and easy. So $100,000 divided by 20%. Again, remember, if we want to convert that to a decimal, we're going to move two places to the left. So we're doing 100,000 divided by 0.2, 20% contribution margin, ratio, contribution margin ratio. So that means we would have to have total revenues of $500,000 in order to cover our variable costs and our fixed costs. Let's see if we can make things a little bit more complicated. E Company has a unit sales price of $10, a unit variable cost of $4, and a total fixed cost of $300,000. And they want us uh, to tell them what is the company's break even point in sales dollars. So the numerator is easy. They give that directly. That's $300,000. Now, the contribution margin ratio is a little bit more complicated, right? So we are going to have to calculate that ratio ourselves. So in this case, we are going to utilize this formula here, and the numbers they gave us were in per unit amounts, so we're going to stay consistent with those per unit amounts. I'm going to do it all in a formula down here. So the first thing that I need is my sales price per unit. That's $10 minus my variable cost per unit, that's $4. Okay, there's my numerator. And I have to divide that by my sales price per unit, $10. So 10 minus four divided by 10, I get a contribution margin ratio of 
Notice that we're using either in decimals or as a percentage. Either works, right? But when I type it in over here, I am going to use decimals just because my system won't know that what's a percentage is because it's not formatted that way. There we go. So 300,000 divided by 60% equals $500,000. So this company also needs to sell $500,000 in order to break even. So notice we have a little bit of a change in the figures, but we still have the same result. Uh, let's try F. B company plans to sell 10,000 units of their product for total sales of $500,000. If the company has variable costs of $35 per unit and total fixed costs of $37,500, what is the company's break-even point in sales dollars? All right. First things first, we need our fixed costs. That's $37,500. Now, same thing as before, we're going to have to calculate our contribution margin ratio. And in this case, notice that they're giving us one total and one per unit amount when it comes to finding sales price and variable cost. So when you're calculating your contribution margin ratio, you can either do it in, uh, in per unit amounts or in total amounts, like what I said before. So for example here, uh, let's go ahead and do both. So let's say that we're doing it in totals first. So we have total sales of $500,000 minus total variable costs. So if it's $35 per unit and we have 10,000 units, that would be 35 times 10,000 to get the total. So go ahead and put that in your calculator, 35 times 10,000. You'll see that that's total variable costs of $350,000. Oops. There you go. So now we have our numerator and divided by total sales. There we go. So 0 0.3 or 30%. We can do the same thing if we decide to do it in per unit amounts. So let's do that formula too. So I want sales price per unit. That would be 500,000 total divided by 10,000 units. Go ahead and put that in your calculator. That gives you $50 per unit. So I'll plug that in. So $50 per unit minus $35 per unit for variable costs divided by my sales price per unit. We already found that $50 per unit. So both of those, no matter which method you use, whether it's totals or units, they will still give you the same 30%. You just have to remain consistent. There you go. So $37,500 divided by 30%, that's 0.3 as a decimal, that gives us $125,000 uh, in order to break even, which means have a profit of zero. Okay, uh, that's it for our break even point in sales dollars. In the next video, this is a little bit more advanced, but I will be going over how to, one second, let me unhide. There we go. I will be going over an alternative method of solving break-even point, and that's using the profit formula. So revenues minus variable costs minus fixed costs equals profit. So for the majority of problems, you can use these first two formulas. Um, usually they're relatively easy, particularly if you're just getting into CVP. But just in case, I think it would be good for us to get a little bit more advanced and take a look at that profit formula. But we will do that in a separate video. Uh, so until next time, uh, happy studying and keep up the great work.